the 70-year-old mother of Senator Jack Kennedy, and incidentally of eight other children too, Mrs. Joseph P. Kennedy. The last night, of course, we were overjoyed and we were terribly excited. I think today we realize the great responsibilities which he has in this day and age, and I'm sure that um, I, as a mother, shall pray as I've never prayed before, and I know Jack will work harder than he has ever worked, and I'm sure that he will do everything possible to uh, give us a vigorous leadership and, uh, and live up to the highest ideals. I've just got one more question which I haven't prepared you for, Mrs. Kennedy, and that is this. How, at your age, and having had nine children, do you manage to look as young as you do? <laughs> well, that's um, the most difficult question of all. <laughs> but um, I think life has been very, very kind to me, and everyone has been very, very kind. Do you feel that you are glad that your son was president, even though his life was cut short by it? Or would you rather... Oh, I, I couldn't answer that. You couldn't? No. No. No, I suppose we'd rather... Oh, yes, we'd much rather have him living. Oh, yes. Is he still, in a sense, alive for you, Jack Kennedy? How you like to remember him and his, when he was... Oh, the day of the inauguration, because that day we heard him make the inaugural speech and his voice was so wonderful and his speech was so great and he didn't have his coat on it was a cold day but he stood out there with with his voice so strong and firm and everybody was so excited and delighted and as i said of all the millions of women in the world to think i was the one that i was the mother was just overwhelming and uh, Just, uh, just really too. And even now, of course, it's you can tell when I think of it. So, um, as I said, it's been a time, I say it's like the agony and the ecstasy of, of Michelangelo. We've had these ecstatic moments and these tragic ones. But God intends us to be happy, I think, and so I'm, so thank you very much.